It has been an exciting year for Mario Kart fans with the release of all the new booster courses and what better way to celebrate than to bring the races and fun Mushroom Kingdom teams all together for the Super Speedway Tournament. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan and the Mushroom Kingdom has brought all they have to offer as you see all the teams showing up there on the screen and we'll get our first group going. It will be the Yoshi team versus, well, I'll call them the bad team, a mix of Bowsers, Waluigi's, and Wario's. And they'll take to the Super Speedway, and it is quite a course. Definitely one of the most lavish and long courses that we've seen in Races of Fun in a while. We start in split lane fashion, one by one by one by one, and then we come together here in the black track, past a fire bar after a banked hairpin, and finally come to the end. And you'll see Yoshi takes uh, first win there. And this is going to run as heat. So all the teams you saw at the beginning, they will compete 1v1. And within those 1v1 team competitions will be a single uh, 2v2 in essence, where only the top scoring will move on. You'll see a uh, little scoring bar pop up very shortly that will kind of show how things will go and be able to understand it better. And right now we're still working through the rest of this replay. There comes Bowser in his bad wagon, coming pretty slow. But here you go, look, Bowser Jr., Green Yoshi, uh, Green Yoshi Bowser bad wagon, and of course, uh, Yellow Yoshi. All in there, they will all change lanes each time and cycle through. They get four races to put up as many points as they can. First place is five points, second will get three, Third will get two, and Bowser Badwagon, who had fourth, will pick up that one point that you see up there in the top left. And again, four races will occur. They'll each change lanes for the four lanes, and each time they'll collect points. Top amount of points after each of the four races, that one car will advance. So one of these cars from the four in front of you is advancing to the finals. And, uh... This will be run for each of the sets of two from the eight uh, member teams. Remember, we have eight on each team, so there's eight Yoshis and eight bad members. So we'll see four sets of these four races. A little bit confusing, a lot of different racing heats going on, but we'll continue to break it down as it goes on. But again, hopefully that explanation kind of brings you into the loop here. As you can see, we have two rounds done, and it is... Uh, Looking pretty good for the Yoshi team. Green Yoshi especially in that sports coupe. Taking two wins so far. And everybody else has been like this in their finishing places so far. 3-3, three, 2-2, three, two, two, and 1-1. One, one. Bowser Badwagon, of course, bringing up the rear here. But here we go. Trying to get, trying to dive in and get a look at some of the racers we have after we cover some of the structuring. And here comes Bowser Jr. finally looking for a lead under the fire bars. He goes, here comes Yellow Yoshi! Almost, and actually does a detriment to Green Yoshi. Detriment to his own team, as now Bowser Jr. is within striking distance as we head to the fourth round. Bowser Badwagon will kind of fall away there. And he can get hit off the track. Maybe we'll see in the replay where that uh, mistake happened. And, oh man. It looks like he just couldn't get up that embankment, got stuck, and gravity took him to the ground. Look at that. And uh, only two Yoshis and the Junior Bowser were able to get to the end. Well, 5-5-2, five, 5-3-3, five, five, three, three. do some quick math. You can see that is 12-11, Bowser Junior just shy of green Yoshi. And this is going to be a tough race for either of them. Orange Yoshi is not really within striking distance of taking the overall lead, but Bowser Jr. is back into it because Orange Yoshi didn't leave room for Green Yoshi to get that that three-point second place. Right now, Green Yoshi, though, trying to put things away. Sports Coupe around that embankment, coming pretty fast. Yellow Yoshi as a buffer. Uh, sorry, Orange. And it looks like the Bowser team will come up, uh, or the bad team, as a uh, account for Wario's in there. Um, we'll come up short here, and as you can see, we had four rounds with these four racers, two from each team, and again, the winner here, uh, Green Yoshi in the Sports Coupe, will be the only one to advance to the finals because he had the most points. No one else will have that luxury. 
advances the finals as you can see 17 points way better than anyone else and you see him slot up there so second group Let's go Bowser Jr., Black Yoshi, Wario, and Green Yoshi. The bad team, the Yoshi team. And uh, let's, see, let's see what we can get from these racers. We have a couple standard cards right here. Remember we talked about the standard cards last time the Mushroom Kingdom came to town. How they're easier to control because they're shorter in length. Also coming pretty fast in that single lane racing. But it's Bowser Jr. who breaks away here coming into the fat track, the wider track where cars can really start to battle. And Yoshi's going to roadblock. Wario, can he push past like a revolving door? Yes! Yoshi! Green Yoshi nudges him across and Black Yoshi's strategy fails because teamwork was not present. And Wario will take second. Now things are all amok for the Yoshi team who now starts with a 2 and a 1. If I read that replay correctly, which we'll get another look here, I think Black Yoshi actually failed to cross the line second. Here he comes, goes for that that complete roadblock there, something we don't see often. He could have just crossed the line, but uh, maybe he was trying to give room for Green Yoshi, but Wario was just nudged across. Ooh, that was close, though. Oh, that was close. And but they still give it to Wario, so Wario just nudged across right before Black Yoshi. Though, honestly, I don't know where it's measured. Is it measured by the end or the beginning of the finishing tape, which does have some width to it? And it looks like it was measured by the beginning, and I think Wario had it. But even by the end, Wario still came out on top. No matter though, Bowser Jr. starting off strong in that standard card with five points. Here we go. Up the hill and to the fat track. And the wider track. And it still is Bowser Jr. by a long shot. No Yoshi's even touching this area, which is kind of um, kind of good because we already had a Yoshi win in the first heat. And so at least for the excitement of this first round, you want to see if at least one Bowser or one bad team member can get uh, you know, towards the finals. And we haven't seen any uh, real connections with the fire bar yet. And I'm starting to wonder whether the fire bar is low enough to actually contact any of the cards. Black Yoshi will come in second there. Doesn't go for any silly roadblocks. Wario and Green Yoshi following up right behind. I guess we'll get to see. Maybe they'll lower the fire bar in the future races or it's more for uh, aesthetic and intimidation. Wario, Green Yoshi, Bowser Jr., and Black Yoshi. We're changing lanes once again. This is Heat 3. We have two wins from the big old Bowser Jr. in the standard card, who just comes out fast every time. I think it's the weightiness of the character, followed by the fact that the standard card is a good choice. Bad Wagon tends to be slower, and the B-Dasher, which is the Green Yoshi's card, tends to not be very good either. Ooh, Black Yoshi there slides right behind Wario. See, Wario use a nice straight maneuver to get around, and he's staying in front. Black Yoshi having trouble catching up. Bowser Jr. will win again, and uh, Wario will drift over the line, and he'll pick up three points. But right now, I mean, I don't even know mathematically if it is possible for Bowser Jr. not to win here in the, uh, from this final heat because he's already got three fives, so that's 15 points. And even if anyone got three threes, which that's already not true, it would be 15 to nine. And there'd be no way that mathematically things could change. If you win the first three races, you can kind of rest on your laurels going into the fourth one. I doubt Bowser Jr. is that type of racer, but uh, the option is still on the table. Here we go. Changing lanes once again. Bowser Jr. now in that fourth lane. Gate is off. Here comes Bowser Jr. Down the far side. Already ahead by a length. Black Yoshi trying to fight his way in there. He'd like to get a win if he can, just for posterity's sake. But again, has no chance of actually taking back the lead. Oh, he comes out fast, though. Here comes through the hill, and he's in a fat track, and he's going to start to break away. Maybe Bowser Jr. is taking a break on this one. No one hitting those fire bars by any chance. And Black Yoshi will actually take pick up a five here now we have not yet seen a full sweep and a full sweep is when you win all five uh, all four races so you put up 20 points across the board bowser jr had a very uh very high potential to take that that uh full sweep and i, I, don't, I don't know why he didn't um he had the option like i said but i don't know why he didn't really go for that because that, that's kind of a it's a real honor 
to be able to say that you had a full sweep when you're talking about uh, a four-round heat, um, especially when you're talking about three other racers to handle. Bowser Jr. will pick up 18 points and advance to the finals, doing one better than the original green Yoshi in the sports coupe. Third group, here we go. And I got to shout out the Mario theming that uh, Races and Fun is, has uh, provided us in uh, this particular tournament. It truly wonderful. Adds to the whole vibe of the Mushroom Kingdom. The colors that kind of pop in this particular group of characters. Really showing today, and I'm, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Here comes Blue Yoshi. Is that a pipe frame? Yes, it is. All matched up with Blue Yoshi. He starts to skid, though, through the fat track, up through the bankman. He almost falls away, but he's fast enough to get through, and Bowser's right behind in his standard card, but he's no match for that blue pipe frame, which just shot out of the gate. And I can anticipate that this will be a uh, uphill battle for any of the other three racers, because the pipe frame... Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's speed right there. This might be one of the longest tracks I can remember where the uh, both the single lane and the fat kind of um, dual lane even or triple lane um, track is used. I don't really know how wide the fat track is, but it looks to be about three lanes wide, but all the lanes are cut away. But the mix of both tracks is not something... Um, um, we see often, but when it is, I think this is the longest version of that. Really makes for a, a course worthy of the name Super Speedway. Here we go. Blue Yoshi picking up the first win. Coming out fast once again with Bowser in the standard card. Also having something to say about that. Through that first hairpin, it looks like Blue Yoshi's going to start to grab an early lead by a length, maybe? Let's see that. The turn goes. It's still Blue Yoshi, but Bowser's still in the game. And, ooh, he kind of zigs and zags. Bowser right behind him, drafting for speed through the embankment, but it's shoved away. Now Blue Yoshi's all around turn behind, and it still will be Blue Yoshi. What a wonderful... Way to finish, and they'll put another five up on the board, but certainly a tough race. This time, not just a cruise to the end. Credit to Blue Yoshi, though, for keeping composure, especially through that fire bar area, where, uh, especially, you see there, the nose of the car kind of went up on the rail. He has low wheels, and the, just the undercarriage of the car is very close to the ground for the pipe frame, so that, that's, uh, that could be a little scary but he still was able to maintain control and finish backwards. Five and five, three and three, two and two, and one and one. No change in the way racing is uh, is uh, implementing right now. And uh, let's get the races going again. This time, Blue Yoshi on the near side. Bowser right next to him in lane, uh, I believe that would be lane two. And it looks to be a close one between the two of them, but uh, not good for Bowser, who's starting to fall behind once again. He's the only one who seems to have a shot of taking over that blue pipe frame, and the pipe frame might be going for the sweep. He's coming down here, no fire bars in his way, and he's going to have a 5-5-5 five, five, five now on the board. And uh, things will finish in short order again, 5 um, one, two, three. And, uh, well, well, Yoshi's in the hot seat for the, uh, the sweep. Can he put it away? I'm, I'm excited. I mean, sometimes it's nice to bait a little bit and see the sweep later in the series, where it's, uh, really been dormant for a while, but, uh, even seeing it now will be exciting. Will the Bowser in the standard cart be able to finally uh, put forth a winning race? Again, because of the three wins right off the bat, the Blue Yoshi in the pipe frame is your winner. That There is no doubt about that. He will be advancing to the finals. But again, that full sweep is on the table. Bowser in the standard cart obviously not wanting that to happen. Preventing that is a big deal for the bad team. And so... Blue Yoshi and Bowser standard car really a, a face off here. They're both going to take those middle lanes. Bowser in the standard car coming out pretty fast, up by a half a length, and Blue Yoshi not really catching up yet. Bowser looking slower out of the turn, and they're about even. Maybe he can grind out some speed here. Coming down too slow again, and Bowser's not looking good. 
Blue Yoshi coming out fast into the fat track section. Sw sweeps around that turn, and I think we got a full sweep. Yes, we do. And that's going to be a tough thing for the bad team to handle. We're, we're uh, first video here into the Super Speedway Tournament, which uh, is quite a grand uh, ordeal for the Mushroom Kingdom. We're uh, towards the summertime at this point. This track is long. There's a lot of fans out here. Weather is good. A lot of teams signed up to participate. Um, I mean, most of it was by invitation, to be honest. But uh, still, I mean, this, this is an ordeal of an ordeal. And to give up a full sweep here in the first, um, you know, first set of heats, not a good look for the bad team. They do have Bowser Jr. in the standard cart running fast for them right now. But again, we'll have to see how things unfold. Standard cart Yoshi, they're lagging behind, and he was kind of doing that the whole time, but um, at least while Ouija got out of last place for a race. Well, there you have it, a 20 points. 2012-7-5. Look at the points differential. And uh, do Yoshi in that pipe frame will advance. We got fourth group coming up here. Green Yoshi, Wario, Black Yoshi, and Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. this time in the sports coupe. Wario taking to the standard cart. And we have another pipe frame out there. This time green. And I think we have a P-Wing. I believe that's a P-Wing there on the far side with Black Yoshi. But it looks like the pipe frame's going to take commanding lead once again. Pipe frame fast. Wario also in there, though. He's going to look for a pass on the near side. Oh, right behind and he shoved away. Uh, fire bar spinning around. But no uh, de de uh, deterrent there for uh, the Yoshi. I'm still trying to see if it's... It doesn't, it's not low enough. It's definitely not low enough. I, I'm getting caught up on it because it's such a wonderful feature. And uh, Wario wasn't really making any passes there anyway. He was kind of getting locked behind uh, Yoshi in the pipe frame, which is... It can be a struggle for a racer who definitely has the speed to win when you can get, you can get stuck. You know, it's hard to really go from right behind the racer in question to pulling out to the side, speeding up, getting around, and then honestly pulling uh, over back in front to cut him off. That's a whole maneuver. It's hard to make happen if the uh, racer in front knows how to defensively drive. Green Yoshi doing a good job of that so far, and here we go to Heat 2. Let's get it moving. I'm looking at Wario, I'm looking at Green Yoshi in the pipe frame, and right now Wario is starting a little bit faster than he did last time, and speeds right out of that first hairpin. Look at the speed! He's ahead of the pipe frame, going into the split track. Oh, but the pipe frame has it by a couple lengths. Here we go towards that big bangs hairpin coming up, and Wario's catching up here. Speed, no! He's around and backwards, and that's going to be a loss. And Yoshi, team working on what might be another sweep. Honestly, not good for the bad team if that occurs. They, they could use to get one more car in there. And I think Wario has the potential. That's what I'm holding on to. Wario has the potential. There will be a tie. I think why. Well, I, I personally think there will be a tie if Wario wins the next two. Because it's hard for me to see the pipe frame doing anything worse than second. But again, things are in short order here. One, two, three, five. And no change from either car for the first two uh, races. It's the first two rounds, we'll call them. <sighs> they rack up again. Green Yoshi in the pipe frame. Nearby here, and Wario far. Wario coming out faster, just like he always does, by a few lengths, but that second turn is always troublesome, coming up the hill, and there goes all the speed, and Green Yoshi back in front, but who out of nowhere, the P-Wing, where's the speed from the P-Wing, what's going on, and Wario is nowhere to be found, and the P-Wing is going to keep it alive for Wario in the standard card, somehow, some way, this third place racer, who has built consistency in third place, honestly, has pulled back, and all of a sudden has won his first race. And now things are completely beyond what I imagined was going to be the case. And, uh, well, <laughs> I guess that's the way it goes in uh, races in front. I mean, you just can't predict it. You just cannot predict how things are to go.
just like when the Mach 8 uh, was uh, knocked out there in like round two against the princesses back in the finals of uh, the Lash Mushroom Kingdom tournament. Um, things are just not always what they seem. Well, here we go again. And I think, I think Wario has a chance if he wins here and if the pipe frame doesn't do very well. Here comes Wario, coming out really fast. Pipe frame also trying to stay in it. And the P-Wing is also keeping pace, but Wario is coming with extra speed this time. P-Wing right behind, and we might have to do some math. Wario still holding on. P-Wing, a nudge from behind, and the pipe frame is not going to finish even second place. That will, let's look to the scoreboard here. Wario has got a 3-3-2-5, and that's going to give us 7-6-13. But what does the pipe frame have? We have 2-5, remember the wins, so I'll give him 10. But then last time he got third to 13. Oh, and this time he got, um, I mean second to 13, and now third. So he will still be up a couple points, but the P-Wing almost made it possible for Wario to climb back in. He will also drift across that finish line. But I think things will still shake out in the favor of the green Yoshi and the pipe frame. Pipe frame and Yoshi, a tough combination to battle against, and it will be certainly formidable in the finals. These are your four cars advancing to those finals, which we'll see down the road quite a few videos from now. And uh, again, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, and uh, hopefully I will be with you guys. I know I missed a couple of videos, but uh, should be back for a while, and we'll see you in the next video on Races and Fun.